Good net players have a million different uh, levels of firmness or softness that they're able to execute depending on the situation. How, how low the ball is, how high the ball is, if they're stretched out. Right now you only have a, you have like one tool, you have a hammer that you hit every volley with. And I can't absorb it. Right, we're gonna show you how to do that, how to absorb. And so <clears throat> this hinging uh, back is where the volatility is coming into play. On your, on your volleys. Virtually every time that you made the comment, oh, I was, I was late, it was from this. If you happen to make, con if you're super yeah. incredibly late, yeah. if you have, happen to make contact right now, the ball would go like straight. literally go up towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Here's uh, where you wanted to make contact was about here yeah. after contact yeah. so that the ball would go into uh, the court. court at your designated target. Here is where you actually made actually made <laughs> so contact. Like and if we continue past contact, we'll see that your racket goes all the way to yeah. Yeah. face towards the court. Like there's a huge degree of variation here, and success is really is dependent on timing that hinge exactly perfectly. This amount of movement isn't even necessary to hit the ball firmly if you wanted to. And that's the first part that we're going to focus on is cleaning up the extra stuff going on with your technique. What I want you to think about is as you turn your body, rather than bringing the hands with uh, the body, we actually want your right hand to slide laterally out behind the incoming ball. And I just want you to slide your hand along that line, uh-huh, as your chest turns to the side. Okay, now I'd love to see you uh, apply that same principle over to your backhand side. All right, now let's see you go back and forth between forehand and backhand, please. Using those same fundamental elements. Your goal on both sides is to find the minimum amount of energy and work and effort uh, through the ball to get the ball to softly arc back to Ira. What are the three variables again? Yep. 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 That's it. Your target is, is the Gatorade bottles. Now, if you keep your position where you were with Ira, should you be doing more work or less work to make the ball land there? Less, because she's further, right? Right. The ball's coming from much farther away with much more momentum on it than uh, Ira a second ago was just, you know, just tapping you the ball. And so, this is kind of counterintuitive for most players. Most players see the ball coming faster and they react more abruptly. But it's actually a good net player understands it's actually the opposite. Since we're redirecting and not powering the shot, it's actually you actually should be softer with your hand. You see that? Yeah. You have ne I would be willing to wager you have never done that before. Like th that's actually really beautiful. Perfect contact and racket just squarely rebounded. Maybe even three to seven. Yeah, all right, good, Bill. A little bit firm on the fast one, a little bit firm on the fast one. 